Hello and welcome to the biology topic breathing and respiration lesson three types of respiration. So you need to be clear on what respiration is. Um, we've got some different images there one of uh, oxygen it's meant to represent oxygen um, the balls of the oxygen gas and you've got a muscle you've got glucose you've got carbon dioxide and you've got a picture of a sports person there so respiration is a chemical reaction and it is a chemical reaction where glucose reacts with oxygen to release carbon dioxide water and energy and there are two different types of respiration one is aerobic and the other is anaerobic we're going to take a little look at both and we're also going to look at respiration in humans and in another example and in this case it's going to be yeast so aerobic respiration all living organisms respire and it includes plants as well okay You've got a little image in the bottom right hand corner there that's for mitochondria that is a site of respiration so Respiration is a chemical reaction and it can be shown in an equation. We'll look at the equation in a minute, but it uses plenty of oxygen and it releases energy as that oxygen has reacted with the glucose. And we take the glucose in in the form of food. Now, it happens inside cells and it's worth saying that it happens inside plants as well. Um, and like I said just now, that image at the bottom right is a, a mitochondria. So that is the site of respiration. Now, you need to know the word equation. So we start off with glucose and um, that reacts with the oxygen. So they are the reactants and that releases water and carbon dioxide and energy. Energy is in brackets because it is not made. OK, it is a product of the reaction, but it is released. So two reactants and two products. And then, as I've just said, plenty of energy is released as well. OK. That's your aerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration is slightly different. This involves glucose and occurs in a lack of oxygen. And this will release lactic acid instead of the carbon dioxide water and a very small amount of energy that's the word equation there for it so no oxygen involved one reactant one product and a lot less energy released anaerobic respiration takes place in humans we've mentioned this already so it occurs in the absence of oxygen it's much less efficient and it releases a lot less energy than aerobic respiration it releases lactic acid in the place of carbon dioxide and water and this lactic acid builds up in the muscles when the person is exercising and it's really painful. OK, eventually that lactic acid has to be broken down and that's what um, leads to an oxygen debt because you actually require to take in a lot more oxygen to break down the lactic acid and to return to aerobic respiration. OK, anaerobic respiration in yeast is a little bit different. Again, it occurs in the absence of oxygen. However, in yeast, it produces ethanol, carbon dioxide, and it still releases some energy. Now, it's also known as fermentation. So it can be used to make beer. So notice that the key difference here being this ethanol that is produced. So you have glucose broken down in the absence of oxygen but will release carbon dioxide, ethanol and some energy. Right, that's the end of lesson three. You've looked at the two different types of respiration and you've looked at anaerobic respiration in humans and in yeast. Um, you need to know the differences. You need to know where respiration takes place and you need to have a think about what oxygen debt is. So if you go off and complete the worksheets, rewatch the video if you need to, and we will see you again soon for lesson four.